Hey guys, Callum here from 3D Tomorrow. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a barrister's wig case. A bit random, I know, but uh, the need is there and the ones on the market at the moment are just ridiculously priced. And when you can 3D print a one-off cheaper than you can buy something which is so same as produced, it's a no-brainer. Let's 3D print it. So, to design the wig tin, I used Fusion 360, and it was a fairly simple process because there's not too much complexity going on in this part. I started by adding two reference images to uh, follow along when I was doing the design. One from the market leader and one from an alternative. Both have the similar oval shape, which I was planning to go for with the 3D print. I didn't want to do an exact replica because 3D printing is its own process and so it's best to design specifically for that. The first sketch was a sequence of ovals which I used to extrude the base, the side and also the start of the lid which you can see here in gold. I then went ahead and used an extruded plane this effectively provides a surface to draw a sketch on without having to be directly attached to the current body in the design. And in this way, I was able to create a smaller oval away from the body of the lid and could then use the loft feature to join these two together. The loft tool is fantastic for producing really nice complex curves and there's a lot of functionality in there for adjusting the gradient and the taper off and various other things to ensure that you get the exact look you're after. I then used the shell function to ensure that that lofted piece was only three millimeters thick and not a solid block of plastic. With all that done, my last step was to produce a sketch on the top surface of the lid, which had a nice border and then also the custom name. I used the text tool for this, extruded it all, and then used the body fillet tool to add a nice curve to the border. Okay, so that's the file design done. That means it's print time. And here it is, da, 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 da. the barrister's wig box. I do normally uh, time lapse taking the sports off, but to be honest, I was quite excited to see how this came out. And so went ahead and put it all together. It's worked absolutely fantastically. The lid is nice grip. See, I can shake the lid like that and the part doesn't fall out. You hear that nice, opening noise when you put it on and off it shows how good the fit is I am very very happy with this and I think uh, the recipient will be also yeah so if you want to order one of these you can do via the print service not sure how many barristers are out there after a wig box but seen as the Eden Ravenscroft ones are about 300 pounds which is just daylight robbery Maybe you'll prefer a 3D printed one instead. And of course, the benefits of this is you can have whatever color you want done here in silver. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have shown you how to make a product from scratch, in this case, a barrister's wig box. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please do subscribe to the channel and like this video. If you have any comments, put them down below. would love to hear from you. See you next time.